Get ready with a pen and a paper because I'm about to throw a bunch of formulas at you. Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have compiled all the formulas that you have to know for Form 4 Physics SPM. I definitely suggest that you get a pen and paper to take notes when you are watching this video because I will be briefing you on the variables and stuff, so take note of them. The first formula, D equals to M over B, D is density, M is mass, and V is volume. Second formula, velocity equals to displacement over time. Third formula, speed equals to distance over time. Make sure that you know the difference between displacement and distance. Distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. Fourth formula, acceleration equals to velocity over time. Number five, W equals to Fs. W is work done, F is force, and S is displacement in the direction of the force. So if the displacement is not in the direction of the force, then the work done will be zero. Six, P equals W over T. P is power, W is work done, and T is time. 7, V equals U plus A, T. V is final velocity, U is initial velocity, A is acceleration, and T is time. This formula is used when S, which is displacement, is not given. Number 8, S equals to U, T plus 1 over 2, A, T squared. This formula is used when V is not given. Number 9, S equals to 1 over 2 bracket V plus U, T. This formula is used when A is not given. 10. V square equals to U square plus 2AS. This formula is used when T is not given. 11. F equals to MA. And F is also equals to MV minus MU over T because A is V minus U over T. M is mass and A is acceleration. 12. P equals to MV. P stands for momentum, M is mass and V is velocity. 13. Fx equals to F cos theta and Fy equals to F sin theta. For me, I remember that when the theta is nearer to the horizontal or vertical line, that means it's cos. You remember the word close, meaning if you can close it where the theta is, then it is cos. If the theta is not between the two lines, meaning you cannot close it, then it is sine. 15. W equals to mg. W is weight, M is mass, G is gravitational acceleration, which is equal to 9.8 or 10. 16, R equals to W, and this is used when there is a person in the leaf and the leaf is at rest. 17, R equals to M bracket G plus A. This is used when the leaf is accelerating upwards. 18, R equals M bracket G minus A. This is used when the leaf is accelerating downwards. 19, R equals to mg minus A again. This is used when the leaf is decelerating upwards. 20, R equals to mg plus A. This is used when the leaf is decelerating downwards. I'll teach you a way to remember from 17 to 20 because it can be quite confusing. R is always equals to m bracket g plus a, meaning it is always plus if the leaf is decelerating downwards or accelerating upwards. Besides that, it is minus. Hopefully, you can remember it better this way. 21, r equals to mg minus t, m is mass, g is gravitational acceleration, and capital T is tension. This is used when there is a pulley. t is equals to m bracket g minus a. This is used when an object is tied to a string. 22, kinetic energy equals to 1 over 2 mv square. m is mass, v is velocity. 23, potential energy equals to mgh. m is mass, g is gravitational acceleration, and h is height. Kinetic energy is also equals to 1 over 2 mv square minus 1 over 2 mu square. 24, i equals to ft. i is impulse, f is force, and t is time. 25, P is W over T, uh, power is work over time, and hence P is also Fs over T, force times displacement over T. 26, efficiency equals to work output over work input times 100%. 
Remember that for efficiency, you can never have a percentage higher than 100% because the energy output can never be as big as the energy input due to energy loss. So the efficiency has to be less than 100%. 27. F equals to Kx according to Hooke's law. F is force, X is extension of the spring, and K is the spring constant. 28. Length of extending spring equals to 1 over 2 Fx, and this can be calculated by using the area under the graph. You can take 1 over 2 multiplied by the uh, value at the x-axis, and then multiply by the value on the y-axis, and then you can get the length of the extending spring. 29. Potential energy in spring equals to 1 over 2 kx square. k is spring constant and x is again the extension of the spring. 30. p is equal to f over a. p is pressure, f is force, and a is area. p is also equals to h rho g. h is the height, rho is the density, and g is gravitational force. 32, pressure is equal to Pa plus H rho G. This is used for a liquid manometer. Pa is the atmospheric pressure. H is the height difference in the manometer. Rho is density and G is gravitational acceleration. 33, P2 equals to P1. Hence, F2 over A2 equals to F1 over A1. And this is commonly used for a simple hydraulic system. 34, buoyant force equals to bracket H2 minus H1, A rho G. H2 and the H1 is the height difference, A is area, rho is density, and G is gravitational acceleration. 35, A1, V1 equals to A2, V2, where A is area and V is velocity. This is used in a venturi meter according to Bernoulli's principle. 36, E equals to Pt. E is the heat supplied by the heater. P is power and T is time. 37, E equals to Mc theta. E is the heat received by the water. M is the mass. C is specific heat capacity. And theta is the change in temperature. 38, Q equals to ML. M is mass and L is latent heat. This formula is used when the temperature changes but the states stay the same. 40, Pt equals to ml, which is the heat supplied equals to heat received. Sometimes they will give you all these values and ask you to compare so that you can find out certain values from that. 41, P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. P is pressure, V is volume, and this is according to Boyle's law. 42, V1 over T1 equals to V2 over T2. V is volume, T is temperature. This is according to Charles' law. 43, P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. P is pressure, T is temperature, and this is according to pressure law. 44, N equals to sine I over sine R. This formula is according to Snell's law. N is the refractive index, I is the angle of incidence, and R is the angle of refraction. 45, N equals to C over V. C is the speed of light in vacuum. V is the speed of light in a particular medium. 46. N equals to capital letter D over small letter D, where the capital letter D is the real depth and the small letter D is apparent depth. 47. N equals to 1 over sine C. C is the angle of incidence when the angle of refraction is 90 degree. 48. N equals to N core over N cladding. In an optical fiber, there is the core and there is the cladding, so there is a formula. 49, P equals to 1 over F, where P is power and F is the focal length in meter. 50, linear magnification M equals to HI over HO, where HI is the height of the image and HO is the height of the object. 51, 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V, where U is the distance of object from the lens and V is the distance of image from the lens. 51, M equals to FO over FE and this is used in an astronomical telescope. FO is the focal length of objective lens and FE is the focal length of eyepiece. 53, M equals to MO times ME and this is used in a compound microscope. 
MO is the magnification of objective lens and ME is the magnification of eyepiece. 54F equals to 1 over 2 times R. F is the focal length and R is the radius of curvature. So this is it. That's all the formula for Form 4 Physics in SPM. I hope that you were going along with it and taking notes. And of course, I hope that you have found this video helpful. You can like this video if you liked it and you can subscribe down below. That's all for this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!